يا رب المقيت الوارث السبوح الودود الفتاح الصمد الواحد الأحد الجواد الهادي السيد الشهيد المجيد الحميد يا رب القهار النصير الغفار الكبير الجبار القدير السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله للي العظيم اللهم صل على نبينا محمد وبارك وسلم إن شاء الله I welcome all of you to the names of Allah سبحانه وتعالى series we finished about twenty four names and we've already lost about five minutes uh, sorry for the delay what we'll do is we'll quickly run through the names previous names so that all of us are in sync inshallah the first name we did was of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was allah himself the personal name the meaning is the one who the one that you turn your all your desires to allah means the word allah comes from the word ilah ilah means the one you turn your desires to Second, Al-Hayyu is the ever-living, the one who gives life. Third is Al-Qayyum, the one who supports his creation. He's like the backbone. Al-Razaq is the one who sustains it and provides for it. Fifth, Al-Ghafoor is the one who hides our sins. Sixth, Al-Tawwab is the one who forgives continuously. Right? At-Tawwab is the one, whenever you repent, whenever you repent, Allah forgives. That's At-Tawwab. Seven is Al-Afwa. Afwa is Allah, is the one who forgives punishments. So there's a difference between Ghafoor, Tawwab and Afwa. The one who forgives punishments. Next, eight, Al-Hamid, the all-praiseworthy. Nine, Ar-Rahman, the excessively merciful. Ar-Rahim, the extensively merciful. There's a difference between Rahman and Rahim. Rahim means duration. Rahman means quantity, excess. All right. Next, Al Kabir. Sorry, eleven is Rabb, master, the one who takes care of things, the one who takes care of his creation. Next, Al Kabir is Akbar. Allah is Akbar, the most great. Al Karim. And that is the most noble, honorable. Number 14 is Al-Ali. The high. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is high. Sabbih isma rabbikal a'ala. Next, Al-Raqib. Number 15 is the ever watchful. 16 is Al-Hafid. The guardian, the protector. 17, Al-Hasib. <coughs> the one, Hisab. The one who takes people to account. Then comes 18, 19, and 20 are three words that come together in the Quran. Al-Khaliq, Al-Bari, Al-Musawwir. We did this. Al-Khaliq means the creator who creates with perfection. Then Al-Bari is the one who puts life after creating it. And Al-Musawwir is the one who fashions it. The fashions it. This beautiful pattern goes back to the child in the womb. First, the creation happens. Second, the life happens. Third, the shaping happens. The musawwir happens. So it's a beautiful pattern that Allah keeps these three names. Number 21 is As-Samad. As-Samad means the one who, is, who has control over everything that he creates. And As-Samad also means everything depends on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As-Samad. <coughs> Number 22 is Wahid. We did these three names last class. Wahid, Ahad, and Witr. Wahid means one. Ahad means one. Witr means actually one or odd. But what's the difference between these three? Wahid is to make Allah one. Wahid. Tawheed comes to the word Wahid. Wahid means to make Allah one. Ahad is one and unique. One out of one only. There's no second at all. Ahad. Witr is to be single without any partner. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa says, Allah is al-witr, means Allah is single without any partner. So that's 24 names, inshallah, today's names, uh, again three names we'll do. And with that, we come to part 11 of the series. And I open this uh, class with this beautiful verse of Surah Hashar, Surah number 59 and Ayah number 23. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Huwa alladhi la ilaha illa hu. He, it is Allah, it is, He is Allah. There is no one worthy of worship. He is Allah. Huwa al-maliku al-quddus al-salam al-mu'min al-muhaymin al-aziz al-jabbar al-mutakabbir subhanallah amma yushrikun. Al-malik al-quddus. Al-salam al-mu'min al-salam al-mu'min al-muhaymin. Al-Aziz, Al-Jabbar, Al-Mutakabbir. So inshallah from, from this we'll take three names. Alright. <clears throat> and today's names are right in the middle. As-Salam, Al-Mu'min, Al-Muhaymin. Again in this beautiful ayat, Allah has got these three names together. And there's a purpose behind whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does this, there's a purpose and there's a beautiful uh, yani link to these names. Inshallah, we do that link. Alright. <clears throat> First, let us take As-Salam. As-Salam has two broad meanings, two different meanings. As-Salam, first, is the source of peace. As-Salam means source of peace. Salam comes from the word peace. Salam means submit. Aslama yuslimu Islam means to submit. Salam means peace. Taslim means peace. But the word Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's name is As-Salam, means the source of peace, where the peace comes from. Second, the meaning of As-Salam is completely different from peace, and that is free from all defects. When you say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is As-Salam, means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is free from all defects, all defects. There's absolutely not, nothing that you can actually remove a flaw from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's Himself, Subhanallah. So that's the meaning of As-Salam. Now, when you come to the word As-Salam, the source of peace, peace is actually an integral part of our life. If you take your salah, you have you 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 st- you end your salam, you end your salah with salam. You pray at tahiyat the salam in that. All right, and if you take peace. Subhanallah, it's so beautiful that no matter how much money you have, no matter how much wealth, no matter how much success you gain, no matter what position you are in, if there's no peace, there's nothing in your life. And I'm sure everybody's experienced that. If there's no peace, there's no happiness. If you ask a person who's really rich, you ask him, what's the, what is it at the end of the day you really want? He says, happiness, contentment and peace. That's it. You take my wealth, but you give me peace. So this is As-Salam and it's so beautiful that when you end your Salah, what's the first thing you say after Astaghfiru, Astaghfar? You say, Allahumma anta salam Oh Allah, you are the source of peace. You finish your prayer and the first thing you say is, Oh Allah, you are the source of peace. Allahumma anta salam Wa minka salam And from you is peace. So you go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calling out this name after your salah. You don't say anything else. You just say, Allahumma anta salam. You are the source of peace. Wa minka salam. And from you is all peace. So, uh, there is a hadith from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that when people heard that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the source of peace, they said, As-salamu Allah. They said, Assalamu ala Allah. May peace be upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Sahabas used to say this. So Allah's Rasul said, La la, this is wrong. You don't say Assalam to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You don't give your salam to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. From Allah is peace. So then Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught them a dua. And he said, Instead say this. Does anybody know this dua? It's a part of our salah, by the way. And it's commonly misquoted in Mi'raj. Commonly misquoted in Mi'raj. Subhanallah. Everybody think 
that this hadith, Allah's Rasul went to Mi'raj and Allah gave him the gift of Salah. So Allah's Rasul wanted to give Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala something back. So he said, Attahiyatu lillahi wa salwat. But that's completely wrong. There's no hadith at all in the books of hadith. If you look at, if you look at this hadith in Sayyid al-Bukhari, Sayyid al-Bukhari, the most authentic hadith book, it clearly shows that people started giving salam to Allah. Just imagine, salam to Allah. They said, may, may peace be upon Allah. May peace be upon Allah. Allah Rasul said, no. The best way to convey is say, At-tahiyatu lillahi was-salwatu wa ta'ibat. All compliments, all praises, and everything belong, is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then send salam on me and send salam on all the prayers of all the yani, uh, ibad of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all the worshippers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's why you say, you say, At-tahiyatu lillahi wa salwatu wa ta'ibat. As-salamu alayka ayyuhan nabiyu wa rahmatullahi wa barakat. As-salamu alayna wa ala ibad. So it's, that's when you pray your salam. And you don't send your salam to Allah, but you send your salam to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and all the people praying Salah. So, this is As-Salam. Allah's name is As-Salam. Peace. Now, if I ask you, what is the biggest gift of a believer to be in a state of peace always? What is the biggest gift of a believer to be in a state of, uh, in a, in a state of peace? Anybody? Salah. All right. Jannah. All right. Not yet reached. Don't worry. Iman, subhanallah. No matter what your situation is, no matter where you are in the globe, no matter how many crimes are being, no matter what oppression is being committed on you, what is that one thing that stands out of a Muslim? No matter what situation, he says, Qadar Allahu ma'asha'Allah. Everything is Alhamdulillah ala kulli hal. What does that reflect? It only reflects the Iman that Allah, He has on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is the next word that Allah says. If Allah is the source of peace, now we come to the second word, is Al-Mu'min, the giver of Iman. Iman is belief, faith. Al-Mu'min is the one who gives you that Iman. <coughs> Mu'min has three different meanings. First, the word Mu'min, the word Aman comes, Iman, belief comes from Mu'min. Next, Amanah comes from Mu'min, trust. Sec, sec, third, uh, Aman comes from Mu'min, peace. So if you look at this, Al-Mu'min is Allah is the one to give you peace. Al-Mu'min, Allah is the one who is in, and has placed you, has put trust on you with your Iman. And Al-Mu'min, Allah is the one who, to give you Iman. So I want to show you a beautiful ayat. Of Surah Hujrat, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, This ayat reflects upon Allah's name. Where Allah says, Know that Allah's Rasul is amongst you. Had He obeyed you, you would have been cursed by Allah. But now see what Allah says. Allah says, Wala kinnallaha ilaykum. But Allah loves for you what? Al Iman. Allah has put Iman. وَزَيَّنَهُ Zayana means to beautify فِي قُلُوبِكُمْ And has beautified it in your heart. So it is Allah who has given you Iman, number one. And second, has beautified it in your heart. How many of you, how many of you today can actually hate Allah? Nobody. How many of you, can, how many of us can abuse Rasulullah? Nobody. What is that? That is nothing but Iman. You honoring Rasulullah without having seen him is Iman. You believing in Allah without having seen Him is Iman. Why do you and I pray five times a day? That's Iman. So Allah has put Iman in your heart and then Allah says Allah has beautified it. When Allah gives you peace and when Allah gives you Iman, they are gifts, right? Yes or no? They are gifts. What, what does Allah do 
after he give you his, after he's given you his gift he makes sure subhanallah how you are going to use it al muhaimin is the one who oversees everything al muhaimin is the one who observes you what he has given to you so as salam is peace he's given you peace he's given you iman that's all you you and i need today iman al muhaimin is the one who oversees, who observes what you have been given. And what have we been given in this ayat is Iman. What are we doing with our Iman and what deeds we commit with our Iman. And it's again, it's so amazing that when you look at this ayat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starts, He puts these three words together. As-salam, al-mu'min, al-muhaymin. Together to show you that they are linked. As-salam, peace. Peace comes with Iman. And when you have Iman, you're surely going to be observed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're surely going to be watched and overlooked by Allah. You're going to be looked at, uh, watched by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and being called to account. And that's why Allah says, He is Al. What? The one to call to account. Hasib. The one who calls you to account. Al Hisab. Hisab. Right? With that, Alhamdulillah, we finished 27 names.